Game one of the Eastern Conference Finals. The Celtics stormed through round two, going on a rampage, sweeping in four straight victories. With plenty of rest and now looking for a conference title, they face a new adversary as they go up against the Bucks. The Eastern Conference Finals, coming up next. For these two teams, two rounds down, two to go. The battle for the Eastern Conference continues. Game one of the Conference Finals. This is Kevin Harlan. I'm joined by Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony. And David Aldridge will be reporting from the sideline. DA, take it away. Well, thank you very much. Now, the NBA has accepted that this is an era of player movement. Commissioner Adam Silver says the data shows that superstars moving isn't necessarily a bad thing because it allows situations to change. Teams that may not be in a competitive position hope that they can sign one of those players. And as we know, Kevin, hope springs eternal. It always does. It keeps the fans involved and looking for more. David, thanks. Look at Milwaukee. Break the higher seed. They start this series on their home court, but they cannot be overconfident. No, the, the stage is set, my friend, and really it's going to all come down to how you perform between those lines. So how, how do you keep the governor uh, on overconfidence? You got to focus on the task, and I, I was always taught you respect your opponent and understand that if they play their best, it's going to be a challenge for you. Don't allow them to get that kind of confidence. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Up at the forward spots, it's Tatum and Horford. Jalen Brown out there with Malcolm Brogdon, and it's Williams at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for Milwaukee, Middleton the small forward with Giannis Antetokounmpo as the power forward. Holiday out there with Joe Ingles, and it's Lopez in at the center. Brown nails the baby hook. Impressive ball handling from Tatum. Attracts the other team's focus and then finds the open man. Here's Holiday, and it's slammed in by Holiday. Puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, GA. He really does put pressure on him. Yeah, hard to strategize for a guy who can make a pass or a play like this right in your face. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agree. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Now oh, here's Young. Good work defensively by Horford. And he's usually able to score on that type of defense rather easily. Surprising to see him come away empty. And the jump by Horford. Horford. A primary responsibility of Brogdon's. When someone is open on his squad, he gets it to him. On the wing, Holiday. Giannis outside. Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. And it's sent back by Horford. And, and still capable of being your defensive anchor. Horford is excellent at positioning himself to block shots. And that replay showed just how forceful that block was. And that block was something. It's the playoffs in every possession and defensive stop matters. The Celtics have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Pass to Brogdon. Horford with a screen on Hubbard. Here's Brogdon. Doesn't go, and he's 0-1 from the field. And so Holiday will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. The Bucks shooting their first foul shot of the night. That's good from out of the Kumbo. Just about two minutes into the game, first quarter of basketball. Rodged in the pass to Horford. Kicks it to Tatum. And slam dunk by Tatum. <laughs> Just a merciless, I don't even know what that word means, dunk by Tatum. Reminding the defense, like, yo, you cannot stop him. And onto to Kumbo, slams it in. Whoa. That'll wake you up. He is such a great athlete. So it's the Celtics now. It's a three-point game. Outside.
inside Horford. Down low, Brown, and Brown throws it down hard. An elite distributor for a big man. Horford is the kind of guy you want to play basketball with. And Holiday kicks to Lopez. Pass to on the Kumbo. And he slams it down right on top of Robert Williams. Uh, an amazing athlete. The, the length, speed, uh, the Giannis is borderline impossible to guard when he is playing downhill. Nice job capturing the moment on the AT&T 5G slam camp. Jason Taylor. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Holiday against Brogdon. Ingles dishes to Antetokounmpo. Shoots from the block. They get it back. Right side Holiday. Over in the corner. Antetokounmpo. Five on the clock. And he converts the late. Giannis has got 13. This man is on fire. His team is winning, and it doesn't get better than that. Here's Tatum. Outside, Horford. On the wing, Brown. Beyond the arc. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. Seven points in the game. A consistent shot for him. Brown likes the three. Here's Holiday. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on Horford. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Celtics. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. At the line for two. Both good from the line that time. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. And they double up Brown. And the foul on Drew Howard. That's his first foul. Milwaukee making a switch. Crowder's checked in. with it. No points in the game yet for him. Excellent D there from Holiday. For Milwaukee, they've gotten seven of their first ten attempts to fall so far. Excellent pace to their offense. Middleton for three. That shot off the mark. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for Boston. They trail by one. On the wing, Williams. Back to Brown. Taken away by Holiday. Middleton with it. Picked up by Brown. Ingles passes to Portis. The Bucks working the ball around. And Middleton kicks to Holiday. Milwaukee. No good that time either. Boston's gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. The feed to Horford. The kick out to Williams. Tatum. Horford the pass to Williams. Double team on Williams. Tatum wide open. He fires one. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Milwaukee's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Horford against Holiday. The pass to Ingles. Hicks it down to Middleton. Lock at six. The rejection by Tatum. The all-star Tatum engaged on defense. That's a scary sight for opponents. Carter, he's checked in for Milwaukee. The Celtics also changing it up. Alinari, he's checked in for Williams. And Smart subbed in for Malcolm Brogdon. Stolen by Smart. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the Bucks. Second team and when Gallinari is healthy, he's such an effective player. I mean, a skilled shooter who really helps to space the floor for his team. 
And the Bucks with some changes. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. And Allen subbed in for Joe Ingles. The Celtics also changing it up. Griffin's checked in for Horford. Williams comes in for Jason Tatum. And it's wide in for Jalen Brown. Now here's White. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Connaughton against Griffin. Now here's Connaughton. He's guarded closely, and no good. Celtics have gone 7 of 13, just over 50% from the floor. Some good looks. And it's White missing. The Bucks shooting well right out of the gates here at around 50%. Crowder dishes to Allen. Back to Crowder. Carter outside. Pass to Portis. Stolen by Smart. Gallinari outside. There's the three. Milwaukee with the rebound. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Here's Portis. And the Bucks miss again. Boston's gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. And it's White missing. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Here's Connaughton. Port is trying to free himself. Makes it off the glass. And the Bucks lead by two. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. White the pass to Smart. Back to White. Three-pointer. Hey, Crowder pulls it in. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. The Celtics shoot the ball to the tune of 41% from the third so far. Oh, and the jam by Williams. And finding his teammate in stride, he led his guy perfectly. As to Portis. Over Griffin. Nice touch on the bench shot. I know what they say. Defense wins championships, but you need some bucket getters too now. And White kicks to Williams. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Williams has got his second basket of the night. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. It reminds me of that cameo song. Back and forth. At the end of one, both teams putting up some points. Celtics out in front, leading by just one. And we'll get going after this from Milwaukee. And here we go, heading back to the action here in the Eastern Conference Final. And when you consider how the Celtics are doing, guys, what do you think? Just a terrific first quarter, sparked really by their unselfishness. They are playing for one another and focusing on making winning plays. You love to see it. On the court right now for the Celtics. Out on the wings, it's Brown and Tatum. Williams is out there with Horford, and it's Smart in at the point. Tatum kicks to Horford. And here's Brown outside. Milwaukee with the rebound. Giannis inside, guarded by Horford. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Just simply overpowers the defense. Giannis flexing the muscles he's added to that near seven-foot frame. For Milwaukee, they have gone three for three at the line tonight. The Bucks making a switch here. Ingles is checked in. At the line for the Bucks. Giannis Antetokounmpo shooting one. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Trailing by two. Horford with a screen on Middleton. Passes to Horford. Brown and finished off by Brown. Such a great athlete, an elite athlete. JB is at his best, in my opinion, when he is attacking the rim. A 
to Nakumbo against Williams. Stolen by Smart. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. Offensive rebound. The Bucks shooting at 50% in a decent group. Giannis dishes to Dragic. Ingles kicks to Dragic. Shot clock at six. Antetokounmpo passes to Middleton. Three-pointer. Jalen Brown with the rebound. For Boston, they've gone one of three to start out the second quarter. And there's the pass to Smart. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Smart's got the lead up to two now for the Celtics. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. I've been on the edge of my seat courtside. Man, this has been a barn burner. And we talk about Antetokounmpo's all-around skills. And tonight, it's been about the scoring. He's put this offense on his back. Smart against Dragic. Smart dishes to Tatum from outside the arc. Rebounded by the Bucks, And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing to fall. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. The three from Tatum. A shot off that time. The Bucks go the other way with it. Giannis with it. Now guarded by Tatum. Lopez gets to Middleton. Outside Dragic. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Second it goes on Jason Tatum. Second team. And how about the attack there from Giannis inside, going right into the defense and still able to get the shot up. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. Giannis Antetokounmpo. That free throw, no good. Drew Holiday, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. Williams, he's checked in for Boston. Malcolm Brogdon comes in for Marcus Smart. And the second free throw, good. Celtics trail by three. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. And it's Dragic with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. minutes of action so far in the second quarter. Tatum against Ingles. Down to five on the shot clock. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut to just one point on the basket from Tatum. Now, what hard work from Tatum inside. Doing what it takes to find his shot. Lopez. And it's at the Kumbo picking up the assist. Nice feet inside, saw the play develop, and hit him right when he needed to. And now, the first time out called here for Boston. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get your group together and make sure everyone is on the same page. This postseason's dead eye shooters. These guys have knocked down a ton of shots from downtown. Malcolm Brogdon is second. He is having so much success from beyond the three point line. Some guys just thrive on this kind of pressure. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Here's Tatum, and slam dunk by Tatum. How about those nifty moves from Tatum? So crafty with the rock. The Bucks have gotten four of their first five shots to fall in the second quarter. Outstanding shooter. Here's Yuck. Rebound by Williams. And 
so it's Brogdon with it. He brings it up for the Celtics. They trail by one. Goes back up. Williams passes to Brogdon. Just couldn't take the lid off. They had their chances, but came up empty. On the Dekumbo against Brown. The jump hook. Jalen Brown with the rebound. Well, okay, well, I like his aggressiveness, but, like, the defense was waiting on him that time. Outside Tatum. A three. Milwaukee with the rebound. Lopez has got his fourth rebound in this one. Holiday finds Dragic. Giannis with it, and it's Horford picking him up. And the call will be against Al Horford. That'll be his second foul of the game. And now only one away from being in the middle. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. here for Milwaukee. Portis is checked in for Lopez. Crowder comes in for Antetokounmpo. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Joe Ingles. And it's Carter in for Gordon Drogic. And then for Boston. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for Horford. Alinari comes in for Jason Tatum. And Derek White subbed in for Brown. They yeah, credit Holiday for getting to the line on that one with his quickness and land. I'd like to see him do that more often. Both free throws good from Holiday. Here's Brogdon. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Over in the corner, White. That misses, had a chance to tie it there. Bucks leading by three. Connaughton kicks to Crowder. Back to Connaughton. Takes it inside. No good there. Griffin with some nice D. Boston shooting a mediocre 41% in this one. The shot by Brogdon wide open. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. And the confidence Brogdon has in himself, it's infectious. Skilled at recognizing when to let it go. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. No good from Connaughton. The Celtics shooting 36% in the second quarter. They really haven't found their rhythm yet offensively. Here's Williams. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Milwaukee's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Connaughton passes to Holiday. Williams with the block. The reach of Williams is outstanding. He uses it to perfection to deny shooting. And to put things simply, this has not been his quarter. Here's Connaughton. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Nothing seems to be going down for him today. Brogdon with it, and it's Carter picking him up. And that one's good, Brogdon. And this is how confident Brogdon is in his scoring ability. Able to get it done from everywhere. Carter kicks to Holland. And Connaughton has it in the corner. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Connaughton's got five now. He talked about a back-and-forth game. This is the definition. You have to love these kinds of games, scoring-wise, keeping everybody on their toes. Locked in the pass to Griffin, and Griffin slams it in. And that's the trademark Griffin finish. Get in tight, elevate, and throw it down with authority. Big fella is a beast down low. And he comes up with the deuce. Holiday's got four points now in the quarter. Breakdown for the defenders, and you can't ask for an easier bucket than that. Brogdon with it. Picked up by Portis. Alinari left side. And a miss there on the triple. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Holiday dishes to Crowder. White against Holiday. And it's Connaughton missing. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. 
15 seconds left now here in the second. Ogden against Carter. Out to White. Just four to shoot. Here's Brogdon. Can't cash in from the high post. No clue how he misfired on that shot. You don't see that from him very often. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Milwaukee Bucks. It's been an excellent game for him offensively. He's got 21 points and counting. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Coach, you guys have been able to limit their scoring. How have you done that? Well, I think our activity, hopefully, in the pick and rolls is making it uh, difficult on them, contesting every shot, uh, denying just our activity in general. High hands and quick feet. Thanks, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. Welcome, everybody, to our Game 1 coverage. It's a tight one indeed for the Boston Celtics. The stat that jumps out to me is their lousy three-point shooting. The perimeter is looking like a lost cause for them. Might want to switch it up. Right, because even if they start hitting those shots, threes alone aren't going to solve their problems. Seeing how things are shaking down for the Bucks, The conference finals. Big fella, do you expect these teams to pull out all the stops? That would be correct, Amanda Arnie. That's right. No minute restrictions. Let the stars shine tonight. You have to leave it all out there. Even if you're banged up, find a way to get it done. The competition level on the rise. And that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for us. You look at Enetokounmpo in this one. He's been everywhere. Yeah, pretty much all throughout that first half. And he was taking care of his business on the low blocks and getting more than his fair share of dunks. He has been aggressive, getting into the painted areas seemingly at will and wreaking absolute havoc on the defense. The talented pair of Middleton and Giannis in at four. Joe Ingles is out there with Holiday, and it's Lopez in at the five. They're the group for Mike Budenholzer starting the second half. Got us inside. Crowns there, and Andrew Jacumbo slams it in. And that move has become second nature for Giannis. Once he establishes position, game over. The three from Tatum. The rebound by the Bucks. Andre DeCumbo's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Driving to the basket, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Giannis has got the lead up to six now for Milwaukee. Brown feeling out of it. Got that one up quick. Brown's got 11. Brown very confident in that jumper of his. Takumbo passes to Lopez. Kicks it out to Giannis. He feeds it to Middleton. Unable to get that one. Excellent D there from Williams. Celtics trail by four. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Brown outside. Williams a screen on Ingle. And it's Brown missing. Rough start to the second half for them. Only getting one of the past four shots to fall. And taken away by Brown. And here comes Brown. Leading the fast break. Rodged in the pass to Horford. And the rejection by Giannis. Here's Brown. It's a bonus whenever Lopez comes up with the swat. You want to see more of this from the big fella. They double up on a Dekumbo. On the top of the key. The shot by Holiday, no good. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for Boston. Four-point game. And it's blocked! And he keeps control of the ball. 
it to Kumbo against Horford from the Bengals. Rebounded by the Celtics. Brogdon looking it over to the paint. Tatum passes to Brogdon. The jumper from the free throw line is good. And that's now six points for Malcolm Brogdon. A quality shooter from that area. When you let Brogdon feel comfortable from there, he'll torch you. And Holiday gets to Middleton. Back to Holiday. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. And they double up Giannis. To end the cold streak. And Middleton, the basket on the assist by Hunter the Kumbo. Hunter the Kumbo's got three assists tonight. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. You have to like what we're seeing from Giannis Hunter the Kumbo. And whatever the D has thrown at him, he's had an answer. His offense is coming naturally to him because he keeps things simple. You hear that, people? Keep things simple. Rogic comes in for Drew Holland and then for Boston. Grant Williams comes in for Robert Williams. And Marcus Smart is subbed in for Brogdon. Round the pass to Smart. Giannis grabs the miss. Ante DeCumbo's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. He dishes it to Middleton. Back to Giannis. Outside Dragic, pass to Antetokounmpo, six on the shot clock. Dragic dishes to Allen. Here's Lopez, no good off the back of the rim. Celtics trail by five. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Lopez with the block. Outside, Antetokounmpo shoots over Brown. And that one's good out of the Kumbo. Giannis has got 27 points. Well, we've seen Giannis add to his game over the years, and a consistent pull-up jumper might make him unguardable. I get you again, Smart. Brown outside. Wow, drew the contact, and that three almost went in, so he'll go to the line for three free throws. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. And we brought Brown Blossom into a talented scorer, someone who's capable of shouldering that entire offensive load. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Alinari, he's checked in for Horford. And it's wide in for Jason Tatum. Here's Yacht. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Here are the NBA's top scorers during this postseason as shown on the 2K leaderboard. Number one, Giannis Antetokounmpo. The fourth spot held by Jason Tatum. And, and whether it's been attacking off the bounce or pulling up, both these guys have been lighting it up. That's good from Antetokounmpo. And so he hits both. Now here's Brown. 14 points for him. Now the dish to Gallinari. Williams sets a screen for Gallinari. Here's White. Again the miss by the Celtics. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. And to the Kumbo inside. Guarded by Smart. Here's Brown. The shot comes out. The Bucks go the other way with it. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. So it'll be Giannis Antetokounmpo shooting. That one on Gallinari. He shot five of six at the foul line. A different look for Milwaukee. Bobby Portis comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Carter in for Goran Dragic. Second team foul. 
At the line for the box. Giannis on the throw. throw good. Giannis. Celtics trail by nine. From deep. And the rejection by Giannis. One made three form for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Pass to Portis. Back to Carter. Over in the corner. On to Kumbo. Just five on the clock. And they double up Giannis. Portis finds Allen. Buries the long range jumper. And the Bucks lead by 12. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Well, I credit some of that to their communication out on the floor. They are attacking as a unit. Here's White. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First personal foul. That's on Brooke Lopez. This is his first free throw of the game. Shooting for Boston. Eric White at the line for two. That one is off. Wow. Well, what, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> And some changes here for the Bucks. Crowder, he's checked in for Lopez. And it's Pat Connington in for Antetokounmpo. And he's good on the second. Bucks leading by 11. Clark down low. White's there. Portis in the post. He's guarded by Williams. Nice shot by Portis. Portis has got the lead up to 13 now for Milwaukee. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. Well, the edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And Portis throws it down. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Yeah, not just an impressive showing on offense, but on defense as well, executing their game plan perfectly. And there's the foul on Jay Crowder. Jay Crowder. That's his first foul. Austin making some changes. Williams comes in for Grant Williams. And it's Jason Tatum in for Brown. Jason Tatum. We've got 113 left to play in the third. White with it. Out guarded by Crowder. And it's Connaughton with the rebound. And if you're looking for the main reason that they're trailing in this game, well, look no further than his shooting. I mean, he has hit exactly 0% of his shots. Tatum kicks to Smart. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And some of what Smart gives this team doesn't always show up in the stat sheet, but, but he makes Marcus plays Smart. that help you win. The Celtics shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. Carter outside. Passes it to Portis. Outside Crowder. Six to shoot. Allen. That one a little long. And so it's smart. He'll bring up the ball for Boston. Down by 15. Let's it go from deep. And it's White missing. This is the definition of forcing it. He's trying to get himself going, but taking tough shots just won't do it. Shot from 12. A shot missing. And so it's Milwaukee. Their lead at 15 going into the break. Their defense has been active and effective. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game. And it's presented as always by State Farm. 
and he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. That's an unguardable pass, flat out. Give him credit for possessing that type of vision. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. The guard spots filled by Brogdon and Smart. Up at the forward spots, it's Tatum and Horford. And it's Williams at the five down low. Back to Ingles. The three. They get the rebound. Here's Middleton. Outside Holiday. Second chance shot. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot. But he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That's on Malcolm Brogdon. A deceptive guard. Holiday draws fouls by keeping his defenders always on their heels over the course of the game. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Austin with the ball. 17-point game. Tatum on the wing. He's off on that one. Great D that time for Middleton. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Smart against Ingles. Stolen by Middleton. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Holiday, the pass to Middleton. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. And the Bucks lead by 20. And this is what Middleton does. He trades. He's one of the best in the league at helping his team space the floor. Rod did the pass to Tatum. Outside, Horford. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. The shot by Holiday, no good. Celtics trail by 17. The pass to Tatum. Horford with a screen on Middleton. And here's Tatum for three. Rebound, Milwaukee. They led the game at one point by 20. And, and not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. Robert Williams. First personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for Milwaukee. Drew Holiday. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Lopez, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Antetokounmpo comes in for Crowder. Celtics also with a sub. Brown's checked in. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Celtics trail by 19. Now Tatum. Brown kicks to Brockton. Lock at six. Rebound, Milwaukee. On to Dekumbo's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. And the layup falls. Giannis has got 13 points in the second half. They're in strong position coming down the stretch, and he is a big reason why. Brown outside. Back to Brogdon. It's up a three. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got his third assist on the night. Proving he's more than just a go-to scorer. Brown also loves swinging the ball to open teammates. Brogdon against Giannis. Banked in off the glass. Giannis has got 36. The offensive success is due in part to his quality shooting. He hasn't wasted too many looks. Here's Tatum. And the rejection by Giannis. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. 
Pass to Ingles. The Bucks working the ball around. Second shot opportunity. Misses off the right iron. It hasn't been his best game, but his team is still doing just enough to be up. Tatum against Ingles. Brown the pass to Brogdon. Austin getting another chance here. Williams shot is off. Milwaukee leading by 20. Here's Giannis. It's hauled in by Brown. Brown's got rebound number five here tonight. Pass to Brogdon. For three. Boston. No good that time either. And since halftime, he has just been ice cold. Just can't seem to get anything to go his way. Horford. Third person of five. At the line for Milwaukee. And that one misses. Taking two shots. And he sinks the second. And so it's Brogdon who brings up the ball for Boston. Now a timeout called by Boston. You have to like what we're seeing from Giannis Antetokounmpo. Well, he's been destroying them inside, and they need a timeout to figure out an answer or a prayer if there is one. So it's the Celtics now. Tatum finds William. against Ingles. Brown right side. Just five to shoot. Shoots it. Again the miss by the Celtics. Bucks leading by 21. This is it to Ingles. Back to Giannis. Off the left rim and out. Boston's gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. That one falls. Horford's got five points now in the quarter. And inside the paint really is where Horford goes to work. Still athletic enough and, and really makes it look easy. That was a second look in her mobile one drive. Amazing control on display. And even down big, the effort and energy is still there to try and make a comeback. Here's onto Takubo. Count that bucket. Under the Kumbo, he's got 38 points. And it's something we don't see nearly as much as we used to. The finger roll. And here's Brogdon from the arc. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got four assists in the game. Well, it's much easier to space the floor when you have effective shooters like Brogdon on your roster. For three, Middleton. Rebound by Williams. Williams is Celtics trail by 18. Brown with it, out guarded by Giannis. Brown outside. That shot, no good. Uh, I, I'm trying to think of the last time I saw him miss a shot like that. It's it's been a while. Holiday dishes do to Takumbo. Let's the three fly. Rebound by Williams. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Man, if ever there were a way to kick off the NBA Conference Finals, this is it. Going to be a table-setting victory here in Game 1 for the Bucs. In the given night, one or two guys might have the off night from the line, but today the team did a much better job with their free throws. They didn't lose focus, and it made a difference. And they open these conference finals with a forceful performance to take the early lead in the series. Yeah, they, they talked about sending a message here in game one, and no doubt about it, they delivered that message loud and clear. It's obvious who has the upper hand going forward in this series. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And with the way he came out energized on the defensive end in particular, getting a hand on a lot of shots, that really got them rolling. A new lineup here for the Bucks. Gallinari in the corner. The tray. It's rebounded by Portis. I'm shocked that he didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Here's Cunnington. 
Offline with his three. Celtics on offense. They trail by 16. And Gallinari kicks to Smart. From outside, off the mark. Here's Dragic. Outside, Crowder. From deep. And no good that time. And maybe he thinks he has that type of range, but I'm not sure who would agree with him. Yeah, and you're not going to just have the green light for long if you're chucking up bombs like that. White hits it from three-point range. White. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. With the way they're shooting, there's no need to look for any other shot. Just keep letting it rain. Outside, Crowder. Got it. So no problem for Milwaukee as they get the win. A uh, pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum is so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Kevin, thanks. Giannis, an impressive performance for you. What was the key? No, I just want to thank my teammates because they're doing a great job finding me. And I'm just trying to, you know, try to be myself, try to wait, wait for my time to go first bit. Well, it looked great tonight, man. I appreciate it. Congratulations. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, thank you. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo.